Ford's car tried to drive past the police quickly, but uh, yeah. Hello, Gage. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> That was funny, I just saw I had 46 views, but uh, 74 shares or 94 shares. That, how does that work? Doesn't really matter, but all the views are going to help with my court case because the police is going to, they're trying to put me away in the French media as a troublemaker, trying to prevent arrests, a black bloc dressed up as a journalist. I mean, I don't know how that worked, but okay. And uh, with all the views you people are giving me, I can show that it's not bullshit what I'm doing and that people actually want this information. And I think that alone makes me press, let alone that I know exactly what I'm doing. You know, I did the school, I work for media, only now I don't work for media. I work for the people. These are my bosses. <laughs> I like saying that, sorry. Yeah, it's really great that they... Two lawyers, actually, that's fucking amazing. Or I think it's fucking amazing because I really don't have money to get any lawyers. And uh, they're helping me for free. I think it's also for their... Uh, you know, I'm willing to go far. I went, I'm willing to do what it takes, you know, to, to get justice, not for me, but for all the French people. So I think they are happy with this also, because a lot of people take the quick court thing, and then you never get out of it what, what, what the people should. And I understand because they have jobs, they have kids to take care of, you know, blah, 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 blah. I get this, but I'm willing not to do that. And I think, uh, yeah, that's good for the lawyers also, no? And secretly, <laughs> secretly, she says on an international live stream, I hope it goes to Europe, to European court, you know, because it's Europe that should be doing something about this. The French uh, are breaking European laws and not the French people, but the French government, the French police is breaking European laws. And uh, I would love to push it to that level to uh, show Europe, the European Union, European, the European Court, that uh, French government should be slapped on the wrist for this, to uh, express it mildly. We are legion, this is true. Fucking hell, shitloads. Yeah. <laughs> Do not forgive. Do not forget. Well, we are here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not against the EU. EU uh, I travel normally I've been uh, on the road for about six years now I live in a camper van and I move between countries so the EU for me is good because it makes it easy for me to stay in all the different places it's easy with the same coin blah 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 but I don't like the way Europe is being run the management the uh, policies they have the fact that they have constitutional rights but they don't act on them they don't follow them and they don't tell the sub countries <coughs> like France that they need to follow these uh, laws so I think the management and the, yeah, I don't know what the English name is the belait needs to change the way they, they run it that should change ah, but 
I usually keep far from politics. I am anti-politics. <laughs> That's the only thing that applies to me, so... Yeah, I, I don't know who says that. I like Europe, just not the body that governs it. That's what I agree to. And I think if they make uh, constitutional rights and laws and all this shit, that they should act upon them and not pretend like nothing's happening. And that's what they're doing. And this goes for other countries also, no? The Belgian government, the Dutch government, the Spanish government, uh, uh, all the countries around France, nobody is saying, hey, neighbor, you're being a little shit. Stop this or we're gonna do something about it. Ah, Philip, it's a cash cow. I agree, but that's not what's being sold to us. You know, then don't make the make up these fucking rights that we're supposedly have and tell us, yeah, yeah, we're you EU, you we have constitutional rights, we, we, we you are protected. Fuck that. But okay, it's also a good day. If, if it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be so easy for me to do this because now, before the police were confiscating my things and I'm telling them you are breaking European laws. You are not pressed this... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they said to me, yeah, a girl on a bike uh, almost ran, ran over some guys. Uh, they said to me, uh, if you don't have a press card, you are not press. Ah, this is absolute. I said, that is bullshit. He said, they said, no, then you are not press, you are breaking the law. No, you are breaking the law. You are breaking French law, you are breaking European law, you are breaking international law. So, and then they started laughing and then they don't speak to me again. See, and these three cops are still just relaxed, walking in between the protesters. This is how violent the protesters are in Toulouse. I'm going to show you. There's this big crowd. There's only three cops here. They're walking with between the people, in front of the people, between the people. And they can walk here. They don't have helmets on. They don't have gas masks. Nobody attacks them. Nobody does anything to them. If the people of Toulouse wanted to be violent, you would say they would lynch these three, no? They're not. It's perfectly safe for them to be here. It's not a problem. A lot of vans coming, probably to block this road because one police car is blocking this road, two bikes, and now uh, vans are coming. I think to quickly block off this road. But then, oh, and other vans are coming from the other side. <laughs> they are driving uh, towards each other. That's three fans from this side and four fans from the other side. Yeah, and these are full with cops. I can see inside. The, the windows are uh, tainted, but I can see inside and there's full, they are full, full with cops. And more police coming behind these. But look, they have no protection on. They, they show their faces. In the back of this is more police.
Yeah, that's what they usually do, Molly. I didn't know the word cattling, but I learned that it's the blocking in, blocking all the roads, and then gassing the people. But look, these have their, they don't have their helmets. They, they, they are not covering their identity. So the chances that they do something unlawful are very slim because they can be identified. Doesn't mean that they will do, that the, the Justice Department will do something with this, but at least they can be identified. They are not afraid uh, of doing their job. I think the, the ones that cover up their faces and hide their identity numbers are uh, afraid of um, being recognized, no? Because they might do something unlawful. I spoke to a guy uh, after the protest on Saturday. People are walking back, hold on. And he said that uh, Macron has three more years, no, before there are elections. Hope they're not changing direction, man. Because I can never get to the other end. Uh, so, in three, it takes three more years. Yeah, they're changing or not. It takes three more years before uh, the elections. So, with elections, they're not going to get him to step down, no? And he is a... He seems to be a, a stubborn little boy. And he's not going to step down. Because you would have said, with all this shit going on, he would have stepped down by now, but he hasn't, so... No, they're not walking back. I'm so happy for that because I can never be on the other end in time. Maybe they are. No, I don't think they're walking back. Just having a small party here.
lovely. Time to get out of the... I'm really not good with being in the crowd. People are just having a break here, waiting, sitting. It's a long day of walking, though. It's training every time. So the police is standing on a corner here. <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh about that. <laughs> they are standing on a corner. <laughs> They, uh, they have their hands across each other. They do have the helmets on. This is the buck, I think, because they have the jeans. They have the helmets on and everything. But they are standing in a resting position. <laughs> yeah. And again, here's two police officers. They have no protection. They're just standing here really relaxed. They're not being lynched. The people are not violent. You know, if the people were violent, which would uh, justify the police attacking the people, then these, ty these would be lynched, no? But they're not. They can just do their job. She says with a lot of... <clears throat> in her <our> voice. <laughs> This girl is a photographer, she's always, always everywhere also. Tough one. Uh, I have seen some black block. I'm not going to film them. And again, here is police. They keep it. They're really keeping their distance. There is a four, five, six, something like this vans. I can't see it really good. So this car better, better hurry up. Or I won't be able to pass anymore.
bike in between the people, but it's a white bike. People always tell me that the white, white bikes are not dangerous. See this street. Well, this street is open. It's just a few cops and they're all, they're all sitting down. I don't know if you see it, but they're all just sitting down. One has got a mask uh, on, but the rest is just, uh, they're even making uh, movements to the music. So they are, if the, the police is relaxed, you know they're not going to attack, no? And it's really how it is, the police attack. Je ne parle pas français. Oh, pardon. Anglais? No. A little. A little. What were you saying? No. No. <laughs> I said kill. We must to kill the three. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am pressed. This is not my. I am not French. This is not my job to judge. <laughs> You're. I'm from the Netherlands. Hollande. Pepa. Oh, yes. Yes. Une Hollandaise qui parle pas le français. Je ne parle pas français. Euh, une Hollandaise euh. qui ne parle pas français, c'est pas courant. Uh, a lot of people, but me no. Oh, yeah. uh, Excusez-moi. <rire> Et donc là, t'es venu. T'étais en France déjà ou t'es venu pour ça tu, you, you were. I am here for the for, for the, this. For, the, for that? For film the police. Yeah. I see on the live stream. Uh, from from the, for the police or against? Film the police. It's not against. They they should like this. They work for democracy. This is democracy. Film the police is democracy. So if they are against it, they are not doing their job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am not with them. You're not? I'm not with the police. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this was an elderly man speaking. <laughs> you probably heard what he said, and uh, if you didn't hear, I'm not going to repeat it. I'm speaking to the phone. Is it undirect? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take it down so we don't see him <laughs> because of what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and again, just the, the cops on the white bikes, still the three skies, and the protest. Hello. Looks like he's got a map in his uh, hands. A lot of papers. Usually when I see the lot of papers, it's the, with arrests, so I don't like seeing that. But they are just with the three of them. No, it's a map. There's a lot of police at the end of this street. I see vans and the, the flashlights, they're coming closer. I don't know how good you see this with the sun. Battery is still charging today, no worries. Sorry. <laughs> two, three, four, something like three or four vans. I think I think kids should be able in the protest, but I don't like seeing them because when shit hits the van, it's really heavy. And I always feel shit uh, seeing them.
this is open, but I don't think these masses will go in there because it's really a lot of people. That side seems open also, but we're going straight. Trying to figure out what we are, but where we are, but I have no no idea. I don't know much about today. On Saturdays, there's a, a thing where they can. I disagree with this uh, because I think you should always be able to protest, but uh, they can protest from two till five. I don't know what the things are for today. And they cannot go to the Capitol on Saturday. This is the square that has meaning to them and is forbidden. forbidden. This is the same today, but this started at 10 o'clock officially. And I, I didn't see anywhere uh, until what time uh, they can protest. This is a normal bike, not a police bike. To lose is full, man. Or the streets are full. Yes. Uh, Jeff, yeah, uh, a long time ago I've been to the UK, uh, England, Scotland. But now I have a, a camper van, and uh, I live in a camper van, and uh, I have two dogs. So it's really expensive for me to go there and a hassle, you know, I have to give them, uh, I think they need different uh, vaccinations. I, oh, yeah, they, oh, they are coming to run here. I think that's the box. Ah, they run. Probably just to stay in front to block another road. They didn't have any protection on. They weren't hiding. Not all of them were hiding their faces. So then they're still uh, peaceful. Uh, the street is full as far as I can see. Let's see if there's a somewhere I can get some food. Uh, it's a fire truck coming. And the people move, you see that? They immediately move out of the way to let the fire truck pass. And they always get an applaud. So the people always applaud them. I'm going to stop and restart again because 30 minutes have passed again and then it's easier to deal with the videos afterwards I, I don't see anywhere here where I can get some food so I'll be back in a few seconds <laughs> 